and welcome back to my channel. So I'm sitting down and filming a review slash unboxing slash try on of a item that I have been waiting for to come in the post for quite some time. It's been ages since, well it feels like it's been ages since I actually sat down and filmed anything for YouTube. It's probably not been that long but the last piece of content that I uploaded on here was a short film with Loki of my Harley Quinn cosplay. So yeah, it feels like a while since I've actually sat down and uploaded any content like this on my channel. And I do want to be bringing content every week and I am literally about six or seven subscribers away from 1,000 subscribers. So I will be doing a video soon of the giveaway. Um, I'm still not gonna tell anybody what it is until I actually hit that 1,000 subscriber mark and then I'll be uploading a video of what I will be giving away. So keep tuned for that as well. Um, but yeah, so the items that I have finally got through the post that I've been waiting on for a long, long time is some swimsuits slash leotards. I'm gonna wear them to cons and in photo shoots, etc. Um, I probably will wear them swimming. Um, if I don't really go swimming that much, but if I was to go on holiday, I would wear them swimming because they're amazing quality. I have actually looked at them and tried them on to check that they fit because they were from America. So before I sat down and filmed this and showed you a try and I wanted to make sure they actually did fit. Um, but yeah, they're amazing quality. I absolutely love them. But I think I'm gonna be wearing them to cons and in photo shoots because they are cool for cosplay pieces. So yeah, the items that I got were two swimsuits from the brand Just Sayin'. I will link all of their website links in the description box below and also their Instagram. They are basically a brand that do everything of all different types of anime. Um, obviously the ones that I got were Dragon Ball Z. I'm a massive Dragon Ball Z fan. I got two of my favorite characters in swimwear. When I saw these, I absolutely fell in love and I knew I have been wanting to cosplay Bulma for a long, long time, but I wanted to do my own take on it. Um, I wanted to kind of like jazz it up a bit. I like the original outfit when you first ever meet Bulma in the first ever, ever um, series of Dragon Ball Z in season one. That's the Bulma that I really personally like. A lot of people have done her dress, her pink dress, and that cosplay. Um, I wanted to do that cosplay, but I wanted to do it differently. And this is where this swimsuit comes in perfectly. So yeah, I got these in a, a medium, I believe. Um, I believe I got them both in a medium. Let me just double check that before I say. Um, yeah, got them both in a medium. They are absolutely amazing. A lot of their gear is for like working out, gym wear, but then obviously for girls they've got swimwear. Um, they've got a couple of like two pieces, like crop tops with um, trousers. They've got a Goku one I really like as well with the crop top and the sweatpants. I'm thinking about getting them in the future. They've got stuff for girls, stuff for guys as well, which is amazing. But yeah, this is the first item that I eyed up, which is a Bulma swimsuit. It's got a really nice low back with the signature 97 on the back there. And it's got the Just Saiyan logo on the side there. These are such good quality. I mean, when I put this on, it's like, everything's into place, which I love. I'm a curvy girl, which I'm proud of, um, but this just kind of like emphasizes my figure exactly how I want it to be emphasized. Like everything looks in proportion. And also what my trouble is sometimes with these low backs when they've got high arms, I'm quite big busted. So what happens is, is like, I put them on and I'm like hanging out the side. So if I like lean back or anything, it gaps here and then I'm like falling out at the side, which tends to be my problem. But I've got such a tiny waist compared to my bottom half that I have to go like quite small to make it fit my top, but then it don't fit my bottom and vice versa. If I go like for a bigger size, it fits my bottom perfectly. But then at my waist, it's all baggy and horrible. <laughs> These fit perfectly 
all over like I measured myself out and I was a medium and I was praying to God that they would fit me because I was thinking oh normally when I buy stuff like this it like never works it's never in my favor it just always looks wrong on me I've never had a swimsuit or a leotard like this that fits so well Um, it's got really nice bright pink lining on the inside and it is lined all the way through which is really really nice and that's their label on the inside as well I don't think it's going to focus there you are yeah you can just about see it there you go um, but yeah, so I saw this one and I totally fell in love with this one. I saw this on Instagram actually. Um, I think I saw another cosplayer with it and I was like, oh my God, that's what I've been looking for. Because I think what I'm going to do is wear this to a con. And I was thinking about wearing like either high-waisted shorts or a pink skater skirt with it. Or just maybe, you know, wearing it by itself with some cute frilly pink socks and some pink fans. And then I've got my eyes on a jacket online that I want to go with this. Um, but I think that's how I'll probably wear it to a con and obviously with a signature blue wig for Bulma's hair. Um, but yeah, I love this. And then I was browsing through their site and I saw this piece and I was like, if I'm getting Bulma... I'm gonna have to get, you know, her hubby and get a Vegeta one. Oh my god, this is a armor styled Vegeta swimsuit. Once again, the exact same style. Um, I saw this and I was like, well, I'm gonna have to do like a Vegeta styled like swimsuit cosplay as well. Hence why I've got the um, black wig on because I'm going to take some snaps in this later because I think it's just going to work really well with a nice black wig. I'm thinking about maybe building his shoulder armour and then I'll probably wear some like knee high like white boots with it I was thinking um, and doing just like a really cool um, photo shoot in the woods and um, there's like a really cool waterfall not far from where I live and I was thinking of doing some really cool like action shots there but once again all lined all the way through on the inside i can't get over how amazing these actually are the quality is just incredible because i have seen these on ebay and you just bring that brightness back down slightly there you go i have seen these on um, ebay and i was like oh. I never buy anything off eBay. Just for the simple fact that everything I've bought off eBay, I've paid out my own money and it's got to me and it is literally rubbish quality. Everything I buy on eBay, I'm not one of them people that gets like the odd item that's like good. It's just always terrible. The only thing I ever have luck with on eBay is wigs and shoes for my cosplays, that's it. Any sort of clothing item, I just don't even bother. There's no point. I can't, I literally can't count how many pairs of Harley Quinn hot pants shorts I bought when the film came out. I think I must have bought about like seven or eight pairs. And then I just gave up and bought a pair from America that was made by like a pole dancing company. And I messaged her and I said, can you make these shorts? Because there's no way I'm getting my bum in the sequin ones and being comfortable. So I just scrapped that idea completely and went for like some really cute high waisted ones. But I had to get them custom made. I just give up on that idea so i did see these on ebay and they were like something stupid like five pound and i was like they're going to be rubbish they're going to be see-through i won't be able to be comfortable wearing them to a con just no not at all and that's when i found this brand um i don't think i've got the receipt in here to say how much they were but i will put the price they were in the description box below for each swimsuit they were both the same price so i'll just link that in the description box below but they are worth the money that you pay out for them because if you think about it a decent swimsuit if you go somewhere like river island top shop etc you're going to be paying what 50 pounds for a nice swimsuit and you're not going to find anything quite as cool as 
these. So I'm just going to insert some clips of showing you what these actually look like on and showing you up close how they fit and showing you basically as well that they are not see-through. You'd be able to tell with these lights if these were see-through and that's always my main concern with leotards, swimwear, anything of that range is mm, being a curvy girl everything stretches so my worry is that you're gonna see boobs bum and all the rest of it so yeah i'll show you some close-ups just to show how thick and well made this actually is i'll link all the um information in the description box below like i said if you've got any questions about these items just let me know also stay tuned because i will be doing vlogs of these two i'm going to be shooting these with elite magazine um in november i'm shooting with them and i'm also going to be doing loads of other content i'm going to probably bring back supersonico and i'm thinking of doing harley with them and a couple of other um cosplays i'm thinking about doing i will be taking to elite and also a secret cosplay with a very good friend of mine called Haley, who i'm going to mcm Comic Con with in October but we've got a joint cosplay that we're doing but I want to keep it under wraps because I don't want anyone to know what I'm doing with her because I'm so excited to do it and um, so I just want to keep that hush hush but we are doing a multi SG set for that cosplay and we'll also be shooting it for Elite Magazine so I've got lots of content that I'm going to be bringing here also I'm going to be shooting a cosplay that I haven't told anybody about in a couple of weeks so I'll be showing that latex piece here as well which I am dying to do I have been wanting to do this cosplay for ages so I shall show that on here as soon as I get it which should probably be in the next week or two so yeah I'm gonna try these on show you what they look like and I'll see you guys next time bye